Good afternoon and welcome into Wildcat Stadium here on a beautiful Friday afternoon and a beautiful day it is to start the women's lacrosse season here in Durham. I'm Cameron Beal. I've got the call for you today as we bring you women's lacrosse between the Merrimack Warriors and your University of New Hampshire Wildcats. Cam, story here, Victor Minutia. You called his name pregame, two goals, one before halftime, one just after. What a star. Yeah, Victor Minutia, he's a real spark plug for this team, and he has been all season long for Mark Hubbard. He doesn't start, but whenever they need a real spark off the bench, whenever they need a little life, they call Victor Minutia, and he always answers the call. Hi, everybody. Welcome back here to Wildcat Stadium, your 2020-21 spring men's soccer champions, the UNH Wildcats, a 2-0 victory over the Vermont Catamounts. Jeff Poster, Cam Beal. Cam, pretty good game here for UNH. I think that's what we expected. Vermont, this defensive-minded team, and it caught up to them. They just could not get past UNH and put something in themselves. Yeah, Vermont, the best defensive team in the conference, but UNH countered with the best offense in the conference, and it showed today with Victor Minutier coming in the second half to give them the two-goal lead. This one's going to be first-year athlete Annie Hewlett to send this one in. The Webster, New York native, swing of the right leg, that one's up. Headed by the Wildcats, up and it's good! The header for the UNH Wildcats to put them ahead 1-0 against the Northeastern Huskies here in the first action of the 2021 season. Wildcats trying to break into that Northeastern end. They haven't been able to spend too much time in there so far. They get the pass up ahead, met oh. by Bilal Kamal, puts it up and it's wow. good! The Wildcats score first here in the home opener of the 2021 season. You know, Dan, that goal could, couldn't have come in a better time for the Wildcats. Northeastern looked like they were getting a lot of penetration into that Wildcat end. They got into the box a few times. A few scares, Robles able to punch it out, able to clear it eventually. But I think that goal couldn't have come in a better time for the Wildcats. Absolutely, and I think showing me is uh, showing a little bit of why he came to you. And Below, come on, oh. just what the doctor ordered, Dan. Finds the back of the net to give the Wildcats an early 2-0 lead. Kamal is putting on a clinic right now out here. Yeah, we mentioned we mentioned Rory O'Driscoll at the top of the broadcast, but Bilal Kamal is the guy who's not getting as much attention after the game winner from O'Driscoll. Let's take another look here. Wildcats leading with two shots on goal. The Huskies yet to get one on Robles. That's Kamal and O'Driscoll. Flanking each other as it looks like it may be O'Driscoll. Sends it up over that line, puts it up top left shelf for Rory O'Driscoll. His second goal on the season and the Wildcats are piling on here early with 24 even to go in the first half. That one's up and it's good. Anna Hewlett ties the game up for the Wildcats here on Senior Day. The header finds the top left corner. Yannick Bright steals it away, trying to gain the edge. Gets it on that top left shelf. Yannick Bright gets the Wildcats on the board here early at Wildcats Stadium. Sneaks that one around the edge and sneaks it into the top corner. Oh, it's cold, but the sun is shining on the cats right now. That's a nice early goal there. That's showing me. Has Pinkham out to the left, finds him. Centers it, intercepted by the Riverhawks, scooped up by Kamal. Back to O'Driscoll, finds Fallberg on net, and then bottom left corner. Once again, they just beat Heisel with speed there. Drop down and give me 20, Linus Fallberg. That plays well for the Wildcats as they have Manudier up ahead. And that's Paul Mayer, one man to beat, and it's Heisel, and he's wide right. Nothing doing there for Paul Mayer, as he looks like he may have wanted a call. The official says play on, and he had one man to beat, and it was Heisel. And we'll get Adam Seville on the near side corner, ready to send this one in. Has Henneberg out in front if he opts to dump it down. Swing of the left leg into the box. Met by the head of Taribo, popped up in the air to Mayer, to Minutier, and it's in! Three headers in a row. Minutier shine the shoes. Wildcats take a 3 0 lead here with just over three to play in the first half. As he'll pose for a picture with his teammates down on that far sideline. It doesn't get any better than that, Cam. That was beautiful. Three headers on one play. Wildcats with a quick 3 0 lead. Just one away from tying their season high of four goals, which, which they've done twice this season. Take another look. Taribo. All the way to Minutier. 
Taribo to Mayor Manudier. Rolls down the socks and poses for a picture. Has Fallberg up ahead with Grass even further ahead. And that one deflected off the Riverhawks and barely sneaks in the post. Linus Fallberg, have a day. The Wildcats reach that four goal mark once again. Wildcats have it, look to add more. To put the nail in the coffin for Merrimack, who looked like they were slowly inching their way back in just a few minutes ago. But flurry of goals from the Wildcats looked like they could put them away. Dunn with another shot and another goal for Liv Dunn. Four on the afternoon for the Wildcat. Looked like Hewlett serves it up. Wildcat can't get a look at it. Mayer puts it on net and puts it in the back of it. Keegan Mayer, the game winner on senior day at Wildcat Stadium. Wow. Incredible there. Wildcats living for the theatrics here on senior day. Nobody able to get a foot on in the first attempt. Keegan Mayer settles, fires it to the nylon. Wildcat game winning overtime goal scored by number 15, Keegan Mayer. Well, all I can say about that for the cat pack is Time of the goal, more cowbell. Yep. More cowbell from the cat the pack overtime. captains. And the Wildcats win this one in double overtime by a final of two to one. Thanks to Keegan Mayer and, and Anna Hewlett. Wildcats two and Vermont one. That's going to do it for us today at Senior Day and at Wildcat Stadium. I have been Cam Beal alongside Dan Marshman. Wildcat goal scored by number five, Liv Dunn. Her fifth of the game. And how Free fitting is that? Goal at 21 seconds as of the we, second half. As we That's open up 2021. With 21 seconds left. Live done. The and sophomore in a Newberry Mass puts the up Wildcats a five 20. goal performance for the UNH nine. Wildcats to give her side the edge. 20 to 9 here on opening day from Durham, New Hampshire. I have been Cameron Beal, and we'll see you right back here for the next action of UNH Women's Lacrosse. And five, that will four, do it three, for us today two, from Wildcat one. Stadium as they come away with a 4 to 1 victory over the UMass Lowell Riverhawks and with the Vermont Catamount win over the U Albany Great Danes. That means the final game of the regular season next week at Vermont will decide who will host the America East Tournament between the 12th ranked Wildcats and the Vermont Catamounts. I'm Cam Beal on the call for you today with Dan Marshman alongside and this has been UNH Men's Soccer. Thank you for tuning in.